Hello, wall friends. Welcome to another virtual art lesson. And today we're going to finish up our flowers that we started looking at from Luke Van Gogh. And I kind of already finished one kind of up just to see or just kind of plan a little bit of how to approach finishing up your sunflower. So using oil pastels or crayons, crayons were good too. We're just going to focus on using marks first, then we're going to spread some of those colors around using our oil pastels or crayons. It doesn't matter. So what we're going to do, we talked about doing the middle last time, all right? And I showed you how to do all that stuff. So for this one, I'm going to show you the steps for the petals to kind of make it look the best. And I mean, it's going to be a little bit different than what I did on here because I was playing around right here and I thought of a couple of new ideas that would help. So for your petals, I think the best thing to do since we're going to color over this probably with yellow to spread our colors around i think it's best to use your for this assignment i'm using red okay a yellow a brown and i had an ochre something like an ochre color which is kind of like dark yellow it's like a dark yellow color i think those do pretty good you can also use blue and i can show you how to do some tricks with that so for our petals, what you're going to do next is I just draw a line in each petal with some ochre. Now you can draw a couple. If you focus on the bottom parts of the petals that are closest to the middle of your flower, using that ochre yellow, that dark yellow, kind of help you out later on. And I'm just going to do some of these just for time sake because I don't want a 20 minute video on how to draw some. So. Oh man, my garage door is open. I'll be back. Sorry about that. My garage door flew open because of the wind. Anyway, so I did some ochre marks on there. And what I'm going to do next, I'm going to use my red after I use that dark yellow to make some lines and some marks. And when you make these lines or marks, you can kind of bounce around. I mean, they don't have to be perfect. I mean, you're just putting some pigment on there. And I like doing little lines. And if you look at Vincent Van Gogh's work, he does little tiny marks with this brush or with this paintbrush to make all these really interesting things. So when you more marks that you make, the better. Especially when you look at his drawings too. His drawings have kind of the same reaction. So after I kind of get it going, I'm going to use my regular yellow. And this is where I think it gets more interesting. So now I'm going to use my yellow to spread those colors around. And I mean, some spots are going to be more yellow, some spots are going to turn orange, and some spots are going to turn kind of dark. I think that looks pretty cool as you keep going. So, as you keep going with your sunflower, that's how I do it. And like I said, you can use crayons or old pastels, you know. And if you don't have either, you can just draw with pencil to make these flowers, and you can do the same thing with pencil. You know, you can do the same thing with pencil, make this look interesting. Okay, so give it a shot. I think it's pretty fun. Remember, um, you can always look at more Van Gogh's work. And I think I still have it on here, so I'll take a look. I think I do. Let me look here, here we go. So we can look at other Van Gogh works. And this is what I was talking about with the brush strokes. I will, you know, this is a pretty good example if you look at this picture. You can see all those little tiny brush strokes in there. So try that with your flowers. I know it's kind of tough. I mean, if I was in person, this assignment would be a little bit easier to do. Trying to do it online and remotely is difficult, but you know, just give it a shot. It's for fun. And if you don't remember how to draw a flower, go back in time and look at my videos and they show you. Anywho, um, have fun with that. Enjoy. Um, at the very least, look at Vincent Van Gogh and the Van Gogh Museum. That's the coolest part. I mean, you want to draw some things like Van Gogh, you can try. Um, I showed you, so take a look at it. Rewind it if you want to look at it again. Have a good week, guys. I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day.